what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below okay now the song that's channeling is the baby okay blank it's called blank it's, i guess it's off his new album and basically like somebody could be hearing through the grapevine that you're talking to somebody else okay or if you are talking already in a relationship with somebody you could be maybe talking to an old lover but I ain't gonna read it like that. If that's how that resonates for you, you know how it resonates. But I'm seeing somebody here that you were you you had a deep connection with you you guys shit, but they were bullshitting. They were on that bullshit, and now they're catching wind that you might be talking to somebody else. Even if you're not talking to somebody else. There's something going in their mind where they feel like you're entertaining somebody else. You're, you're fucking with somebody else, okay? And this is really causing them a lot of overthinking because in the song, he says, you gonna make me blank. You gonna have me pulling out my pistol. You know what I'm saying? So it's like somebody here is over here thinking like, if, if this person really, wow. Like, like it was so crazy. It's like, damn, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. It is it now. Now the shoe's on the other foot. They're the one over here wondering who you with, what you doing, if you're moving on, blah, blah, blah. And they're about to, see, you might have acted crazy when you found this shit out. They try to make it out like it's you. Now watch, watch how the, the tab these tables turn, because trust me, oh, they do turn, okay? Now they're going to be in this energy where they're like ready to fuck off everything, F fuck with everybody. You're going to make me blank. You're going to have me pulling out my pistol, and I wrote it down because... If I don't, if I haven't heard a song or haven't heard it a lot, I and it channels while I'm pre-shuffling, I know it's meant. But um, uh, he says, let him get blindsided. I'm going to overreact. I might slide him right out. You know what I'm saying? Let him get blindsided. I'm going to overreact. I might slide him right, right out. You know what I'm saying? So whoever you're dealing with is over here and they're, they're like plotting. They're like, okay, if this, it, it was so crazy is when the shoes on the other foot, it don't feel good. Now do it. Cause this person's over here plotting. Like if you over here with somebody else and they ain't even mad at you cause they know that they deserve everything that you got going on. Even if you're not moving on with somebody else, they're making it up in their head. But if they're taking wind that you might be dating or doing something or whatever, now this person over here, they're plotting. They to the point where they about to blank the fuck out. Have me pulling out my pistol. They, This person could be an overreactor. You know they're an overreactor and they're about to overreact like a motherfucker. But what they want to do is they want to blindside this person. They want to blindside you and this person. I feel like whoever you were dealing with the past, they ain't no pussy, okay? I'm just going to be honest. I feel like this person probably can, can whoop some motherfucking ass, can intimidate people of the same sex. Pe people might even be a little intimidated by So it's like this person wants to blindside both of y'all and then overreact like a motherfucker right and and slide and slide the fuck out of whoever this person is that they think you're dealing with and even if you guys aren't together they want to blindside and see this person at the stove oh oh what's up oh so you fucking with so and so oh yeah and slide the shit out this motherfucker like and they're really trying not to go so far because they really want to like they really want to be pulling out that pistol because they feel like you are theirs but at the end of the day, they can't even be mad at you. They can't even fucking be mad at you because they're the ones that did this. Shit, this person is, this person's mad. They're panicking. They're right. This person wants to go off on whoever. Look, obsessed, trying to hold restraint. 
Okay, this person is trying to hold them back from going off. They don't want to make themselves look like a fool because at the end of the day, they don't even know what's really going on. They don't know if what you got it going on is serious. They don't know if they don't know. And they want they feel like you or you're their possession. You're theirs, okay? This soulmate in partnership. Mm -hmm. And look, they feel like now you're out here, you're taking a chance. You're taking a chance on other people. You're taking a risk. You have options. And I feel like what, you, what you're doing is you're living your life privately. You might have options. People might be taking you out on dates. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't showing them your hand. And they know that. This is something that they're scared of. They, they really, it's hard to read you because they don't know what the fuck you have going on. So now they're really, really scared that you're out here taking a chance on something else, right? And what's so crazy is we got soulmates and then twin flames right there, okay? This, you and this person have a very, very deep spiritual connection. And that's how that chaser runner aspect, how the shoe can so easily be put on the other foot, that, that's what happens here. They know this is a deep soul connection and partnership. They cannot picture, even though y'all might even be polar opposites, they cannot picture you being with somebody else. No matter what they done did or what they put you through, little nar narcissists, no, like they, they, they feel like you, you're theirs, okay? And they don't know what's going on. You could have blocked them. You could make it to where they have no access to your energy to know what's going on in your life. So they just are over here wondering. And they're about to spaz the fuck out. Mm -hmm. They want to go into the, yeah, they're scared. They're scared that they're going to find out that, that you're moving into a new phase. They're, they're very, very scared of that. And whoever this person is, they're sitting back and they're looking at your pictures. They might have taken pictures of you on their phone, little videos, whatever this is, you know. And they're thinking about, like, especially if you guys are just laughing and enjoying each other and, and in these pictures or in these videos, maybe they're catching you off guard, just doing goofy shit and y'all laughing together, right? They're looking at these pictures. And they're so fucking terrified that you're going to end up making these new memories with somebody else because they know how happy and content you make them, right? They do not want you to make these memories with somebody else. They love your energy. They love your vibe. They can't picture you laughing and being goofy and, and somebody else getting to enjoy that. No. And so this person is motherfucking about, like, is really about to spaz. And they're not even going to spaz out on you, man. Especially if you try to move forward, okay? But they, it's like they're not, they know they deserve and what, what, what's going on. They're going to try to spaz out on this other person. Catch them off guard. Slide they ass. Overreact like a motherfucker, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and, and they don't like that. They are going to find out that something that you might be dating or seeing somebody else or that, some, that you might just be moving forward. And it's like they, what's so crazy is as bad as they have done you, they also have this honor and this protection for you, which is so crazy because if you honor and protect me in this connection, you want to be determined to honor and protect it after you done hurt me because with clarity and truth after you done sat here and lied, they know you're evolving. They know you've grown. They know that same childish bullshit that they were on before it ain't working. It's not going to work this time. And so now they want to meet up. And they want to meet up. And when they meet up and they want to talk to you, they really are going to savor this moment. Because it's like they, this is something that they have craved. This is something that they have wanted. This is something that they just, they can't. They can't stay away. And they know they're looking at you and they're thinking, man, I don't want anybody else to have this energy and be laughing. And because they're thinking if they see you 
as this amazing person through their eyes, just Lord knows how everybody else sees you, how amazing, you, you know what I'm saying? And so this is something that really, really scares the fuck out of this person, all right? Mm -hmm. But you could feel like this person that they might have let, they ruined a lot of happiness here within this connection. You're the fire. You're the phoenix, okay? You're literally the phoenix. You can rise from the ashes after everything has burned down around you. You have this power to renew, regrow. And there's something about you that when it comes to this person that has just kind of changed your mind. Because yes, you felt like you guys are twin flames and soulmates. But the way they were acting and the things that they were doing were so karmic, right? And people could be your twin flame. You only have one twin flame, but they can stick. That's why it's they're still your divine counterpart, even though they're not in a divine energy, okay? They can still be stuck in such a karmic energy. You know, and the karmic energy that they're stuck in creates a lot of resentments, a lot of triggers, a lot of intensity between the two of you guys and a kind of unhappiness. And it's almost like you forgot who you are. You forgot that you're the phoenix, that you have the power to renew and to grow and to rise through the ashes. Yeah, the snake. Somebody had some kind of competition and this person knew about you and this person's relationship the entire time but instead of this person being real they made the wrong choices and because of whoever this other woman and this karmic is that they were dealing with that's what caused you to kind of get out of this energy of feeling like the phoenix like as much as i try it as much as i do it's not evolving okay but spirit's like nah you got a gift you're so much stronger than you think you are. Trust and believe whatever's left behind, you'll end up moving straight into a new phase. You'll end up moving straight into a new motherfucking phase and you'll be rising from the ashes. I feel like something has really changed your mind about this person. At one point, you felt like this was your twin flame, your soulmate. You would have done anything for them. But there's been some kind of clarity where you feel like as much as I love you, you're stuck in this karmic energy. And even though this is your twin flame, you might want to move forward and towards a soulmate, towards somebody that's going to make you happy. To that end, to that situation where it's not a roller coaster ride, where it's not up and down, where there are no questions. You know what I'm saying? Because you can outgrow your twin flame and end up choosing a soulmate, especially with ascending here. She, you can outgrow them. Now, whoever this person is, they're sitting back looking at your pictures, sulking. Scared as fuck that you're going to move on towards somebody else and somebody else is going to treat you the way you deserve. And they're going to be ready to fight everybody, every motherfucking body around. Look, crazy bitch at the bottom. Full of problems. Yeah, they're going to try to create as many problems as they can. I feel like whoever this is, people in, are intimidated by whoever this ex is, whoever this person you are dealing with. This person speaks a good game. They might can fight, okay? And it's like people know that whoever you are dealing with wants all the smoke, okay? So there is an intimidation, all right? And whoever you're dealing with, if if you try to move on or they think that you're moving on and stuff, they're going to try to intimidate that person. They want to sneak up on them. Mm-hmm. It's like, but they're not going to take it out on you. They're not going to take it out on you at all. With this dodging you, it's like they're going to want to take it all out on this other person because they feel like you didn't deserve anything that they did to you. 
they feel like you truly do deserve to have a soulmate. But that doesn't mean that that ain't going to make them feel some type of way and do what they can to win you back. Hell no. Nah. They're sitting back looking at your picture like, I don't want anybody else to have these good times with this person. You crazy as hell. And so they're not going to try to hurt your feelings. They're not going to try to argue with you. But they damn sure going to try to make whoever you're dealing with or whoever. It could just be your first date. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're going to try to knock their ass out and really just try to make it out like, hmm. Like, oh, you're going to go fuck with this, uh, whoever this person is. They know that they can kick <laughs> that they can kick ass. I'm just saying. Yeah. But you're in this energy, okay? Where you're putting yourself back together again. I don't even think you're focused on moving towards somebody else. I feel like the guilt and the shame from this person just has them overthinking like you're going to move on with somebody else. And even if you are going out on dates or, you know, texting other people, at the end of the day, that's not your focus right now. Your focus is just on putting yourself back together again after everything that this person has done. But I'm going to tell you, even if it's a first date, you never met somebody, you could be walking by in a grocery store and just have a conversation. And this person sees they're going to be ready to beat everybody up. Mm-hmm. You could have been in a depressed energy recently, or maybe because of what's going on between you and this person, you haven't had the motivation to maybe get up and clean up and cook and shower or do the things, you know, spirit is saying it's time for you to get up, find that motivation again, okay? Let's see, what else? Yeah, this person is in love with you. They're in love with you. And the saddest part about this, where's that card? Is that they need you. They're in love with, and what's so crazy is, I feel like, oh, this is different. Because look, putting yourself back together again, and it, it got the same character here, in love. You're going to put yourself back together again. You're not even focusing on other energies. Yeah, I might go out, have a date. Shit, I might need some dick. Hell, you know, go in and, and do somebody for a good nut. Just like them men try to do us or them women try to do. You know how this is, okay? Be safe out there, all right? Not, I don't judge, okay? I'm a friend. I don't care what y'all do, okay? Not saying, but whoever this is, it's like somebody ain't even really focused on anything serious right now. Let me put it in that context, okay? Somebody's focused on putting themselves back together and falling in love with themselves again, okay? Because somebody at one point lost their power. They knew that they were the phoenix rising from the ashes. They knew that they've been through hell and back and are still making it. So whoever this person is, they're finding themselves again. They're putting themselves back together again and falling in love with themselves again. It ain't got shit to do with nobody else. While this person over here that you're dealing with having financial troubles like a motherfucker, money getting jacked. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to be trying to come back around. They're going to be trying to fix this. They're going to be looking at your pictures. They're going to be ready to fight anybody that they think that you're dating. But the joke's really on them because you ain't focused on shit or nobody else. You're focused on putting, putting yourself back together, what they broke, and falling in love with yourself again. All right? Probably dodging they ass because you know they pull you right back in. But anywho, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.